Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. The mullein plants are now seven feet tall. And it's still growing. It might go to eight feet. Let's see if the success we had yesterday with the flint and steel ignited ashed cardboard is easily repeatable. I want to use this stove to make my fire in, but right now it's got a lot of softwood ashes in it. That is Eastern red cedar ashes. So let's strain them out, put them in the bottle, and then we'll try once again and see if we can make it happen. Softwood ashes are very lightweight and fluffy, low density compared to hardwood ashes like the oak ashes that I've been using for years. And they seem to work better for fire roll and for ash tinder and for this technique. So, all right, let's pick out some chert. I don't have very big pieces. Like this is a good dark gray color, which means it's very, very hard. This light stuff is not even hard enough to hardly make a spark. To make a spark peel off of that steel is what I mean. So I'll set aside these two because they're liable to be hard enough to do what I want to do. And a tablespoon of wood ash on the cardboard. And I'm using the softer side. This side here is kind of slick and leathery. This side seems softer. tablespoon ashes and I'll process them up with the sharp edges of this chert see what happens. Nothing so far. Oh, I was hoping it would be easily repeatable. Let me gather up all of these fine, highly processed pieces of cardboard. And try it some more.
we got it to ignite when I piled up all of that highly processed paper and cardboard. So, for what it is, it didn't look like it's easily repeatable, but we're still trying to work out and figure out the details. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. We're still going to have this for a standby. We'll catch you on the next one.